Okay, so let us begin the last module today and in which we will see a nice application of what we have learned so far. So the main result of this polynomial is, so we will, so we just saw this corollary that if we have a field of characteristic 0 and we take any irreducible polynomial, then all the roots are distinct. Yeah, so that is what we just saw. So as a result of this corollary, we have this proposition. So let E be a let E be a field of characteristic zero, right? So let L over E be a finite extension, be an algebraic extension. Okay. So, then we have the degree of extension is equal to what we called last time the separable degree of extension, which we defined to be the cardinality of Horm L phi comma k. Okay. So, if you like we can just, uh, so yeah, we can embed E into some algebraic closure and then we can just take um, L comma E bar. Okay, and in the few examples that we saw, this was true, right? Because we had computed embeddings in case of Q root two over Q, right? And we saw that there were two embeddings, right? And we had also taken this example of Q cube root 2 comma let us say i cube root 2 I think right and here we had seen there are 6 embeddings right on the other hand the degree of this extension is 2 and we saw that the degree of this extension is 6 yeah. So, going by our experience of examples so far this statement is true, but now we are going to prove this statement and it will follow once again as an easy consequence of what we have learned so far. So, let us see how to prove this. Okay, so, uh, let us first assume that and once again the proof will be, will use the same techniques that we have used. We are going to write E L as a tower of extensions and then prove it for each extension. So, let us first assume that L over E is a finite extension. Okay. So, then we can write so L we can obtain by adjoining finitely many elements alpha n and we can make this tower right E this is E 0 uh, this is properly contained in E alpha 1 and this we will call E 1 and this is going to be properly contained in E alpha 1 alpha 2 and this is E 1 alpha 2, which we will call E 2 and so on and at the i th stage we will have alpha i, which is what we call E i. And we keep going like this and at the end we get L. Okay. So, let p i plus 1, so we have this extension right, let us look at this extension, uh, E i is contained in E i, we are joined alpha i plus 1. 
this is equal to ei plus 1 right and as we saw many times before let pi plus 1 this is in eix be the monic irreducible polynomial of alpha i plus 1 over ei okay yeah so then if you remember uh, so recall that we had seen that the cardinality of this home this set is equal to number of distinct roots of p 1 x right into number of distinct roots of p 2 x and so on right. of p n x. This is something which we had seen many times in class, yeah, right. We had, uh, yeah, okay, I do not want to repeat that because we have seen that argument many times. But now notice as we are in characteristic 0, by the previous corollary, we have this is equal to degree of p 1 x, right, this first quantity times the second quantity is degree of p 2 x, right, and the last quantity is degree of p n x. because we are in characteristic 0 yeah and the num therefore the number of distinct roots of an irreducible polynomial is equal to the degree of the polynomial right so but then this quantity is equal to e1 over e0 right because what is p1x is the irreducible polynomial of alpha 1 over e0 right and therefore the degree of p1x is equal to this extension degree and the next one is e2 over e1 and so on e n over e n minus 1, right, but then this is equal to e n over e naught, which is equal to the degree of extension L over e, right, because of the multiplicativeness, yeah, so this proves that, so this implies when L over e is a finite extension, then these two numbers are equal okay so now let's consider the infinite case so in the infinite case so now assume l over e is infinite right so then we can find an infinite tower right so we can start with our e0 and since l is not equal to e there will be a alpha 1 and this extension since l is not equal to e alpha 1 otherwise it will be finite over e so we can find e alpha 1 alpha 2 and so on and we can just go on like this right and all these are contained inside l Okay. So, what do we have? We had proved last time in class that L over E, the separable degree is multiplicative in towers and therefore, we have E n s, right, because E 
is contained in E n is contained in L. Right? This was the main theorem of the previous class of the previous lecture right? that the separable degree that this cardinality of homomorphisms that is multiplicative in towers. Okay? So, and now using the finite case we get this is equal to into E n over E. Right, because E n is a finite extension of E and we are in characteristic 0. So, using the finite case, using this case what we just proved, yeah, E n is a finite extension of E. So, therefore, I can drop the s over here E n the degree of the separable degree of extension is equal to the degree of the extension. So, this should be s sorry. Yeah, so, I am just going from here to here both these are equal. Okay? Yeah, but now what is this? this is equal to L e to the n s into E n colon E n minus 1 into E n minus 1 E n minus 2 and so on up to E 1 E naught. But each of these are proper inclusions, right? So, therefore, this degree is at least 2 is greater than or equal to 2. this degree is greater than or equal to 2, this degree is greater than or equal to 2. Right? So, this implies that L over E s is greater than or equal to 2 power n for all n that is Thus, the separable degree is also infinite. Yeah, so this completes the proof of the 